go easy. Or the results can become ludicrous. Take advantage of what's there. Accentuate the good points. Minimize the others. Optical illusions can, in many cases, produce the wanted effects. A light base will make the eyes look smaller. A dark base will make them appear larger. Foundation is used as a base for the rest of your makeup. Work the foundation from the center of the face toward the hairline using gentle upward strokes. Make sure it's blended evenly. Cosmeticians will guide you in your color choice. A foundation with a pink glow will brighten a sallow skin, while a reddish skin can be toned down with a beige foundation. Blot off excess with a tissue. If you have disturbed skin, medicated makeups are available. Dark circles under the eyes are often caused by not enough sleep and lack of iron. To cover them up, use a foundation two or three tones lighter than your base or a highlighting cream. Blush is applied to give cheeks a quiet glow. A good rule to follow is never let blush come nearer the nose than an imaginary line dropped vertically from the center of the eye. Blush should be applied from the center of the cheek outward and up into the temples. Blushes can also be used for contouring. Example, a tone three shades darker than the foundation can be used to point up a cheekbone or diminish a wide jaw. Powder sets and blends your makeup. The simplest powder to use is a colorless, translucent one. Pat on liberally. A tuft of cotton that can be thrown away is the best powder puff to use. Wait for the powder to set. Then, with another clean powder puff, brush away excess with downward strokes. Eyebrows frame the eye and focus interest on them. They are also important in the shaping of the nose. Pointed eyebrows can make a nose seem longer. To remove straggly brows, lubricate them with Vaseline or baby oil and pluck with tweezers. Never pluck eyebrows further than the line, even with the inside corner of your eye. Other plucking should be done under the brow and never above it. The color of your eyebrow pencil should be as close as possible to your natural color. Only the darkest brunettes should use a black pencil. The highest point of the arch should be a straight line from the outer edge of the iris. The tapered end of the brow should form a straight line past the outer corner of the eye to the side of the nostril. Blend pencil strokes into your brow with a clean mascara brush. Mascara applied to lashes would complete the well-groomed eye and is sufficient eye makeup for the early teens. However, if you wish to give more attention to the eye, you may use the following procedure. A lid highlight with a creamy pale shade is flattering to most eyes. Never wear bright, obvious evening colors.
for contour and emphasis, a taupe or brown shade is placed into the lid crease and just above the lid. For protruding eyes, a dark shadow on the lid will make eyes seem less prominent. For deep-set eyes, a white or very light shade on the lid will make the eyes seem more prominent. The three pairs of eyes are exactly the same distance apart. These eyes seem to be closer. The effect was achieved by concentrating the shadow towards the nose and by bringing the eyebrows closer together. Here, the illusion of widely spaced eyes is created by placing the shadow and brows outward and far apart. A gleam of pearly white or beige on the bone just beneath the brow emphasizes the bone structure. Eyeliner is used to make the lashes seem longer. There should be no hard, obvious line. Apply as close to the lashes as possible, and remember, black can only be worn by girls with very black hair. A flattering shade for blondes or brunettes, as black adds harshness to the eye. Mascara makes lashes look longer and fuller. Incidentally, no amount of eye makeup will help if your eyes are drowsy and lackluster. To be wide-eyed and alert, a full measure of sleep is necessary. The right food definitely relates to the clearness and sparkle of your eyes. Vitamin A and plenty of water are essential for this. After the mascara, Separate the lashes with a clean brush. The generally accepted age for wearing lipstick is about 14. A subtle color is the most becoming. To apply lipstick, prop your elbows firmly on the table, supporting the chin with one hand while steadying the action with your drawing hand. Start from the center of the upper lip, drawing a smooth curve to the outer corner. On the lower lip, start at the corner and come to the center with a brush laid flat. Fill in with the brush or the lipstick itself. Blot the excess. For a softer, smoother look, apply a lip gloss. Remember, lips need protection as well as the skin. If you prefer not to wear a lipstick, do wear a lip gloss. Lip shapes can be changed. For example, thin lips can be corrected by overpainting. Thick lips can be narrowed by covering them with base, then using color only toward the inside of the lips. Too wide lips can be made less obvious by covering the outer corners with base. Skin blemishes cannot be entirely avoided by most young girls. Makeup can conceal them, but a healthy diet and cleanliness can often prevent them. Most important, never pick or squeeze a blemish. It makes matters worse.